All right, people. Uh, the first video that I did on this with the and everything, it was mostly about spells and traps. Um, and a couple ideas, uh, an idea for one of the, a name for one of the trap cards, and like one or two of the spell cards. Now, this one is going to solely be based on the monsters. I wanted to do a video based on the monsters by itself because there's a lot of things that the monsters could do. Um. It can range from, you know, your opponent can have special summon monsters what, uh, linked to a uh, um, zone linked to your opponent, uh, linked to one of your linked monsters while this card is at the graveyard. To, you know, the, if, this card, if this monster is set as a link material for a link monster, that, that monster can not have its arrows adjusted. Nor your, nor can your opponent special summon. Sorry about that. It's up on my screen. Nor can your opponent special summon a monster from the extra deck to a zone that that monster is pointing to. And honestly, I feel that that, you know, this is something that's going to be more in depth. You know. So at first, I would say I'm. I'm not going to really give too many of the stats, you know, I mean, I give an idea for, like, you know, level. You know, that's pretty much about it with this video. So what I'm going to say is this, um, I'm, per I'm pretty much going to try to keep the monster levels between 2 and 7. You know, and honestly, I think that would actually be, you know, a good idea for, you know, Konami to do, try to keep. Monsters with these effects between four, uh, two and seven, because obviously level ones that could be they just can be completely broken. You know, you have one for one. You have freaking and nine times out of ten when there when there's a level one monster on the field, <laughs> there it's that's it's uh, attack is going to be less than five hundred, so you're going to automatically be able to machine dupe into three of them. So. Well, obviously, with all these monsters, you do not want their attack to be at or below 500. I would say for, like, a level 2 monster, and all of these obviously are going to be effect monsters. Um, after I say the effects, and everything, after I say what I think the, these monsters should have as effects, you know, I'm going to state, you know, hey, I think this would actually be a great idea to do it this way, or, you know, the, hey, this would be a name, Oh, you know, these are just an idea for stats, you know, stuff like that. So, this, for, so first off, I'm going to start off with level 2 and work my way up, you know. Um, level, first off, it's going to be a level 2 monster. Um, I would say, you know, because obviously it could be normal summoned, that could be normal summoned right out. And then... You could easily just be able to say, okay, well, here, I'll just go ahead and do this. You know, obviously, two, three, or four, there's going to be a, there's going to be a decent cost to it. Um, you know, the level twos, threes, and fours, as I have these effects, are going to be pretty much... That's going to be, like... They're pretty much going to be about, you know, depending on how easy they can be searched out, you know, that's how much, that's how many life points it's actually going to be. Um, so let's go into this, let's see your level 2, I would say, you know, pay, you can pay 800 life points when this monster is set as a link material. The, that monster's arrows cannot be adjusted, nor can any monster be linked to that monster. So pretty much what it does is it ends the chain there. So say that would be like a good monster you could use for like, if you're doing the a complete link or whatever the hell it's called. If you were to do that, you could actually use that monster as part of it, pay the 800 life points. And that would be like a continuous effect on that link monster. Nothing else can be linked to it. So literally, if whatever monster you have linked to that monster, 
you're obviously going to be able to just go off with it. And then your opponent can't special summon anything. And it just makes it that much harder. Now, obviously, there's cards out there, you know, that allow you to bring one level four lower, you know, Wing Beast or Beast Warrior or even a freaking Warrior. And honestly, I've noticed that a lot of the cards that are dealing with Link monsters nowadays that don't belong to older archetypes, they're using the cyber um, typing. That is a good typing. I would say use it as a cybers, but make it to where, or, but also add it to the effect this card cannot be searched by any card effect. You know, that, that, then there goes Tour Guy. There goes freaking Sangin. There goes Witch. There goes any other freaking search card that can bring it from the deck to your hand. You know, and obviously that would have to be run at three because, I mean, if you ran it at two or one, there's a very slim chance you'd get it. Especially in a 40 card deck. Alright, so now, another level two, I'd say, okay, you pay five, you pay eight, you pay a thousand. And this monster could become the amount of monsters needed for that link, for a certain link, for any link monster. Maximum module of three. You know that many right there. Um, and during your standby phase, that you have to pay 500 life points to keep that link monster on the field, and it cannot be attributed or used as another link material. You know, I mean, obviously these effects are not going to stick. These are just ideas for effects. Now, a level three. I would have to say, you know, again, it's good. You're going to be paying life points to activate these effects. Four, three, four, and five. Uh, two, three, and four. The two is the three, and I think there's only going to be one, four as well. Now, five, six, and sevens, you're probably going to be tributing a monster, or that's going to be one less bus, or one less link module that you could use to bring up for it to gain those effects. Uh, level three. Pay 800. Your monster gains an extra arrow for the next three turns to your side of the field. That monster is not de the monster that is linked to that arrow is not destroyed when the arrow when the the effect is removed or when the effect is expired honestly that would be a great way to set up like another defensive wall and I mean it's more it's not more or less you know, stopping your opponent from being able to all oh, just do a summon from your link monster but it also is kind of giving you a little bit more of a wall so like say you have the you already going but you're but you're missing one you can set that level 3, you pay the 800, you link summon out the monster, and say it's a Gaia Saber, that's right there. You can turn around, you can actually go, use the, you add that arrow right there, and then bring out like a monster that's very hard to get over. You know, like a 4800 or a 5500 or something like that, you know. Or heck, you could even, if you're playing a freaking, um, If you're playing a freaking uh, Sacred Beast deck uh, character, there you go. You can bring out Armitage there too. It's not destroyed by battle, uh, by card effect or battle or something like that. I don't know. And once per turn it gets set uh, during your battle phase, it gets set down on attack. Hey, there you go. Um, for the level four, I would have to say. <sighs> This monster cannot attack. At all. Also, during the end phase, you have to tribute a monster to be able to keep it out of the field. I'm saying that because it's a level 4, I would say probably put it at 2700 attack. Konami, I've seen you do a hell of a lot crazier shit before. 
that is not something that, you know, is unheard of. So, what I'm gonna, so what I would say is this, um, Forty-seven hundred seems to be a good attack for that level, for the, for a monster with that effect. But um, also, if you're going to link summon with it, it has to be done the turn that it is summoned. So, you know, if it is not using a link summon, any link monster that is used, is well, actually. Uh, I don't know how Konami would wear this other card. Um, if the if you link someone with this monster, or the or other than the turn it was normal summoned, that monster that card effectively becomes a skill drain in the graveyard to that link monster. You know. You know, now, the level 5, I would say probably, you know, having a low attack and defense for a level 5, you know, kind of like back when uh, Dark Witch was, kind of like an 18 and 15 or something, 18 attack, 15 defense, but have it gain the effect of, you know, tribute, one monster, you can lick someone with just this card. You, uh, you could use the link, um, divide the monster attributed by two, and you can link summon a monster, a link mon you can special summon a link monster from your extra deck with the link module, half of the monster you attributed in this card. You know, level six, um... When this monster is used as a link, link, uh, link material, sorry, I had a brief right there. As a link material, oh, each turn you have to tribute a monster from your side of the field. Oh, the link monster gets this effect. You must tribute a monster from your, uh, your side of the field, or this card is effect is the gate all negated the next turn so there's that now the level seven this is where it gets very interesting all right because you already have to get uh, this part of the effect goes like this this card could have be special summoned from the graveyard or hand so that means it would have to be special summoned from the deck and make it almost a, a pretty damn ridiculous just to be able to special summon it from the deck. You know, be able to have a, where this card has to be normal summoned by tributing two monsters. You know, have it where there's no... You know, and, and it's in the effect where it has to have two tributes for that monster. When you link summon, you must tribute a monster, an extra monster. One more monster other than the link module indicates in order to special summon that link monster from your extra deck. In return, the link monster gains this effect. Only you can special summon monsters connected to the arrows on this card. Also, each monster linked to this card gains 500 attack or defense, depending on its position. You know, those are things that I think, you know, would actually be extremely helpful. Uh, that level 7, the reason why I don't give it too much more of a cost is because the cost is, say, like with Firewall Dragon. You can't just tribute, you just can't just send four, uh, two or three monsters. You have to send five monsters to gain that effect. And you can have to normal summon that monster by tributing two monsters. 
you know. So there's that right there, boom, you know. So literally you would have to link summon already. Tribute one of your, your link summon monster and another monster to special summon that out. Just, and then, you know, and then, and this is just for firewall or boar alone. And then tribute all five of them to special summon that out. So then there go, then there's that. You know, that's where I think, you know, some of these cities could actually be extremely interesting. And, you know, I mean, honestly, I would say for that, for that level 7, I would say have it as a divine beast typing, you know. I mean, we really have not seen a divine beast typing since the original Yu-Gi-Oh. And if I recall correctly, there was a monster that they stated that was unnamed. That nobody knew anything about during the original series. I may be wrong, but I'd say as far as my recollection goes, I mean, I haven't watched all of it. I've watched about some of each of the, you know, some of the original, some of the, you know, the one with the CEO. Freaking, I've seen every, each of the sub-series for the, the original series of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, at least, and, it, and I think it was when they were in the game capsule. <coughs> Trying to help uh, Kai to get out is what they were talking about. There's a monster that nobody knows anything about. Not even Kaiba. Not even Yugi. You know. And I don't, I don't really think it was said in there, but I think it was... Uh, Obviously, Yami Yugi, because at that point they did, oh, his name was Atem. But Yami Yugi at that point was like, I feel a presence I've only felt one other time before. And we absolutely have to get out of here. Again, I may be wrong. They may have been talking about something for, you know... The board of directors at Kaiba Court being corrupted by Pegasus or whatever. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I know somewhere in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, there was somewhere where or Yami Yugi had stated, there is, a pres there is a monster that is more powerful than even the gods, than even the Leviathan that Dart summoned and everything. You know... And y Yami Yugi had that connection with the gods in the anime. So, the, why not Konami bring out a monster that symbolizes or that, you know, brings attention to that connection that Yami Yugi had with the gods to be able to beat the Leviathan during that series with uh, the seal that y'all have for the seal or whatever. You know, that is something, uh, bring it in, uh, use it in, uh, have it to be able to be used in the link format. You know? Well, alright, that's enough for this video, you know. Um, again, I just figured I'd make it, you know, trying to, as I made a ranting rave about, you know, to, what they could have, should do to put the link buses in, um, in check. But, so that I figured, you know, to kind of balance it out because I'm about to only do one, but it ended up being like five or six that got uploaded. So I figured I'd go ahead and do like one or two where it goes through and yeah, where, where ways to, you know, kind of make it a little bit easier, but also a little bit more strategic. All right, y'all, y'all have a good night, a day, night, whatever, and y'all have fun.